Welcome to the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. And today I'd like to focus on the second reading, which is from the book of Romans, chapter 12. And it's only the first and second verse, but St. Paul writes to the Romans, I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and pleasing and perfect. St. Paul is reminding us to remain holy and set ourselves apart for, for God, because we are a living sacrifice uh, for God, sacrifice of praise, a sacrifice for uh, the works of the Lord, for us to live our faith out, just not in our own homes and our personal lives, but also out in society. But that's the tension of the Christian today, to live your faith in, uh, out in society. We live in a society, especially today, that kind of tells you to keep your faith to yourself. Um, in fact, you've seen many different uh, hearings, political hearings, and things like that where politicians can sometimes be concerned about how much faith weighs into decisions. But as Catholics, it is vitally important for you to allow your faith to inform your worldview to allow it to view or help shape how you live out your life because our faith is essential to who we are. It is essential to who we are because God created us and in order for us to fully live that out is to love and serve God with all, all of our lives. We also need to remember that we have the temple, we are, our bodies are the temples of the Holy Spirit by virtue of our baptism and our faith. It's important for us to be holy and set apart to serve God, knowing that the Holy Spirit and all of God lives within us so that we can show that his love permeates throughout the world by living it through our lives and our actions and through our thoughts and through our feelings, how we love our families and our love our neighbors, our coworkers, and so forth. It's also important for us to not conform ourselves to the world, but be set apart, showing we're Christians. It's easy for us to get sucked into worldly things right now, especially in the midst of the, the president, pres, presidential debates and other politics where people can get very nasty very quickly. I encourage you to not get nasty. To, if, you, if your thing is to engage people, whatever it is, learn how to have a good argument, learn how to have a respectful disagreement, learn how to respect each other in all things. Remember, your faith is important in your politics, in your personal life, in the music you listen to, and in the workplace. You are to be set apart for God as a holy and living sacrifice for him. It's also important for you to discern what the will of God is, especially in your life when it comes to your vocation. It's important for us to know what God has called us to so that we know we are perfectly within his will, perfectly doing what he has called us to do. The vocation could be parenthood or being single, a priest, a religious life, and so on and so forth. It's important for us to follow God's will and to do whatever it is he asked of us to do for our life. It is important for us to do this also because this is how we show our praise to him, by being within his will. It doesn't mean that there are no trials when you're within his will. It means that you are at peace in the midst of the storm. Being within God's will and setting yourself apart aside for holiness is vitally important for your faith because it demonstrates your full potential and full, uh, full uh, how should I say this, expression of your love towards God. You do it with your whole being and with your whole life. So my brothers and sisters, I encourage you to reflect on how you are living your life. What has influenced you in your life? How is it setting you aside for God? How is it helping you in your personal holiness? Is it aiding your prayer life? Is it aiding your thought life? It is it aiding you in how, how you treat others? It's important for us to analyze these things through multimedia or whatever platform it is that is influencing us to understand, is, is this honoring God? Is this helping us love our neighbor? Is this helping us love God and deep in our faith? I encourage you to examine that, to look at that, and to make sure that you are following God with your whole life, offering your bodies to him as a living sacrifice. Be holy and pleasing to God, 
and be renewed in the mind. My brothers and sisters, I encourage you to take this upon this challenge, pray upon it, and pray for the intercession of the saints, especially our Blessed Mother, to help renew your mind and your focus and love towards God. God bless you, and have a very good Sunday. Thank you.